Item number SCP-1925 Object Class Neutralized Vomily Euclid See Addendum Special Containment Procedures Foundation agents embedded in the NYPD and the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey shall monitor both organizations for any reports of discoveries of human cadavers along the Hudson River at the New York-New Jersey border. Upon confirmation of an SCP-1925-8 instance, Class B amnestics are to be administered to all direct witnesses and Class C amnestics to indirect witnesses. Instances of SCP-1925-A are to be stored at the Humanoid Research Wing of Site-40 for 30 days, after which they are to be cremated. Instances of SCP-1925-B are to be transcribed to the database of the same site. As of beep, 20 beep, SCP-1925 is considered neutralized. Description SCP-1925-A is the designation given to a series of human corpses that had half manifested along the banks of the Hudson River since the first confirmed sighting on Beep 20 Beep. Although instances of SCP-1925-A vary in age, race, and sex, the following are consistent among all confirmed sightings. No instances measuring less than 160 centimeters in height and 50 kilograms in weight have ever been recovered. No longer true as of beep, 20 beep. No clothing, jewelry, or other present no effects have ever been found on SCP-1925-A instances. Bodies have never been found to be emaciated, disfigured, or otherwise in poor condition. With the exception of SCP-1925-B, tests by medical doctors indicate that, in most cases, corpses are recently deceased and of that the rigor mortis has not yet set in. No obvious cause of death is apparent in any of the instances, with typical signs of homicide, blunt force trauma, gunshot wounds, entirely absent. No instances of SCP-1925-A correspond to any known individual. Extensive research by the Foundation into local, national, and international databases has failed to yield any information on the deceased individuals. SCP-1925-A instances have all been sighted within a two-kilometer area along the Hudson River on the border with Manhattan, New York, and Hoboken, New Jersey. Attempts to monitor SCP-1925-A manifestations has been met with failure. Through a combination of errors and oversight, no manifestations of SCP-1925-A has ever been successfully recorded. Attempts to cordon off the area where SCP-1925-A instances manifest have failed to prevent SCP-1925-A from appearing. SCP-1925-B are a series of written messages inscribed into the backsides of each instance of SCP-1925-A. Messages appear to be written with an extremely fine instrument, possibly a laser cutter, and are evenly spaced and formatted, suggesting expert precision and technical skills on the part of the inscriber. Due to their length, they are extremely small and require several orders of magnification to read properly. All messages appear to be addressed to a Caroline and vary by tone and content depending on the message. See below. Show partial SCP-1925-B archive. Access granted. Note number one. Date of recovery, 20 beep. Description of SCP-1925-A Caucasian male Around 21 to 24 years of age 177 centimeters and 98 kilograms Transcription of note contents Dearest Caroline It has been far too long since I've seen your smiling face 
so I feel the need to reach out to you once more. I hope all has been well with you since our unfortunate departure from each other's lives. You'll forgive me for my unorthodox method of delivering this message, but, well, you know me. As a scientist, I seek ways to imbue my work into practical facet of my life, and this is an opportunity I could not pass up. I have been doing extensive research on the subjects of space-time causality and the theory of relativity, and, well, let's just say Einstein is not as right as we think he is. Though methods far too complicated to explain in such a small space, I have in fact bent the laws of physics to my whim. Though, what better way to bend them than to bend them for you, long lost love? You may not think I was listening to you as you tried to explain your depressed state of mind, but I was. It made me angry, because I could not do anything. And so I asked myself, how could I make you happier? The answer, by removing those from the earth that are less happy than you are. Surely, if the net amount of joyful people decreases, the standard for happiness will decrease as well, no? The specimen I have sent to you as a young student of mine, a powerful one, smart, and physically fit to boot, he will be missed, which means by extension you will be wanted. Contact me as soon as you wish. With sincerity, beep. Note number 12. Recovery date, 20 beep. Description, Hispanic female, around 35 to 40 years of age, 164 centimeters, 77 kilograms. Transcription. Dearest Caroline, since the beginning of my offerings to you, I've been contemplating a shift in my priorities. Previously, I have focused on the young and the restless. Those with the potential become happier than you. It has occurred to me, however, that I may be attacking the branches of the issue rather than the root. My focus on ending those who can become happy, and I can focus on those who are already happy. The specimen I've sent to you was a mother of two. She was pleased with her station in life, and had the potential to spread this joy to those she loved. I have performed you a good service this day, yes? Please respond as soon as you are able. With sincerity, beep. Note number 21. 20 beep. We docked it. Dearest Caroline, why? Why have my offerings not pleased you? For quite some time now, I have cared for you through my discovery, and have ensured they are sent to you and you most need them. Have you been receiving them? Of course you have. My calculations pinpoint your location to the letter. Perhaps you do not appreciate what I have done fully? Perhaps I can show you. I have attacked the branches and the roots. The specimen I have sent to you is a seed. Respond to me, my love. Tell me you are happy. I just want you to be happy. With sincerity, beep. Addendum on beep. An instance of SCP-1925-A appeared, which was significantly different from previous ones in its condition. A large opening, a yet determined to be created by a sharp kitchen knife, was present on the front neck. An addition, SCP-1925-B, was inscribed crudely and haphazardly on the stomach of the subject, containing only one line. Final Offering Following this incident, no new instances of SCP-1925-A have been reported. SCP-1925 reclassified as neutralized on beep-20-beep. Beep. 